the constructors title fight between Red Bull and Mercedes has been the toughest we have seen in several years. And even though the protagonists for the fight are team's first drivers Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton, it is equally important to acknowledge the team's contribution of the team's second drivers Valtteri Bottas and Sergio Perez. While the both have not brought in the same amount of points as their respective teammates, with teams such as Ferrari and McLaren frequenting the podium spots in races, I believe Valtteri's and Sergio's contribution in the remaining six races will decide whether Mercedes retains the championship or Red Bull finally ends the Silver Arrows reign. Back in 2020, with both the drivers finishing in the top two spots, it was clear that no one would be able to challenge the Mercedes domination. But things started very differently this season, with it soon becoming clear Mercedes does not have a clear advantage over Red Bull in terms of performance. And while Hamilton was matching Verstappen in performance, Valtteri was struggling to stay in the best of the rest spot. The first half of the season was underwhelming for both us, and the uncertainty of his future in Formula 1 was not helping him in any way either. His struggles to keep up with the likes of Norris, Leclerc and Sainz meant Mercedes did lose quite a bit of points in the initial half of the season which they were expecting from their second driver. Perez on the other hand had a solid start to his time at Red Bull. After some technical issues in the beginning, he claimed victory in Baku after Verstappen crashed out and followed it up with a podium in France. While Valtteri clearly had more number of podiums than Checo, the amount of DNFs he had to suffer this year meant he was lagging behind Checo for much of the season. But all that has changed since the announcement Bodas' move to Alfa Romeo. With his future in Formula 1 now certain, we have seen Valtteri performing like the driver he is in the last couple of races. Checo on the other hand had a string of below average performances after his contract extensions until the last race in Turkey where he seems to have finally got back into form. And that is where we stand now. As of now, both the drivers are back in form with six races to go in a championship where nothing will be decided until the last race in Abu Dhabi. With six points separating the constructors and with hardly anything to separate Max and Lewis, the performances of Checo and Valtteri will most likely decide which team will be the champions this year. The remaining races seem to favor Mercedes a bit more than Red Bull. That means Valtteri does have a slight edge over Checo in that aspect. However, it would be interesting to see if either of the drivers will have to take further engine penalties. It would also be interesting to see what role the weather would play and how far Ferrari and McLaren would ruin the Mercs and Red Bull's podium chances. Weather is less of an uncertainty with three of the six remaining races in, is in the Middle East where the weather should remain stable throughout the Grand Prix weekend. But Ferrari and McLaren fully focused on their ultimate goal to be the third in the championship could definitely mess up with the Mercs and Red Bull's plans. As of now, it is too close to call and that means driver errors could be the reason why either of the driver finishes ahead or behind another driver. If past races are proof enough, we know that both the drivers are not immune to mistakes and at this point it could, it could decide who would go down as the ultimate wingman of the season. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel if you like to watch similar content and stay tuned to I am Formula for everything Formula 1. Until next time, take care and stay safe.